Yeah, let's look at some problems on uh, Kirchhoff's laws or Kirchhoff's rules. This is a circuit. The resistances are all of the same value and you have two batteries each of 1.5 volts. And when you look at the circuit, and if you go counterclockwise, beginning with point A, then this is this is what you get because you're going in the direction of current through R and remember that the direction of current is assumed to be flowing this way so you're going in the direction of current so current is flowing that way since you're going in the direction of current it will be negative IR which will be the potential drop here plus since you're going from negative to positive it will be E here positive E uh, which is the EMF or potential difference of the battery and then again across this you're still going in the direction of current so it will be negative R and again negative R through this one and here you're going once again from negative to positive so it will be plus E is equal to zero now that becomes I is equal to E by 2R from the algebra now to find the potential drop between A and B which is labeled as VAB it's going to be the potential at A minus the potential at B which is minus IR plus E minus IR Uh, how do you get that? Because if you start from A and go in the counterclockwise direction, you get, see, when you go this way, from A to B, you have minus IR here, plus E here, and minus IR here. And that's all you need, because you're looking at the potential difference between A and B. And of course, this can be written as E minus 2IR because of these two. And that's equal to substituting from here for I, you get minus 2E by 2R. And uh, you can cancel the twos cancel the R's and you get zero volt now let's consider another circuit which is a little bit more complex these are the resistors there 110 ohms, 82, 120 ohms, 64, two batteries of uh, EMFs, 58 volt and 3 volt. Now, if you consider The currents, you will see that I1 is I2 plus I3, uh, looking at this junction. And if you take this loop and go around it in the counterclockwise direction, you get 58 here because you're going from negative to positive and then across the 120 you get negative 120 I1 because you're going in the direction of the current 
and across this again you get negative 82 ohms times I1 which is the current and then when you go through the 64 once again you're going in the direction of the current but it's 64 times I2 and that's equal to 0 now that can be written as 58 is equal to combine these two terms 58 is equal to 202 I1 positive on going to the other side plus 64 I2 again positive on the other side 64 I2 so that's one equation and then when you go to the next circuit and go around it again counterclockwise you get uh, positive 3 because you're going from negative to positive minus 25 I3 you're moving in the direction of current so negative but when you come here you're going down the current is opposite so that's why it's positive positive 64 I2 you're going opposite to the direction of current minus 110 I3 now that becomes 3 is equal to combine these two uh, that becomes negative on the other side negative 64 I2 plus combining the other two terms you get 135 I3 equal to 0 so you have an equation there number one this is two and this is equation three now you have to solve these three equations so this is how you set up the equation so remember that whenever you're going opposite to the direction of current you take it as positive when you're going in the direction of current you have a negative so these are the equations you get and uh, you have one two three equations and just substitute one into two as I've done and try to solve them It gives another equation 4. Now, when you look at uh, 3 and 4, uh, you see that both of them have I2 and I3, so you can solve those to get the values of I2 and I3. From 3, you can write this. Make I2 the subject. So now if you get I3 or substitute this in 4, this is what you get. substitute the value of I2 so I3 is 0.09235 amps now if you take that value and substitute it into this
equation, you will get I2. as 0 0.1479 amps and then remembering that I1 is I2 plus I3 <coughs> gives you I1 as 0 0.24025 amps so that is how you solve for columns using Kirchhoff's rules thank you